In State College, Penn State's boxing club continues to provide a space to those passionate for the sport. Willing to train every day to stay in tip-top shape, these fighting academics battle through heart and mind, earning respect one round at a time. Uh, these kids deserve recognition. The student athletes that they are, they deserve the recognition for the time and hard work that they put in. After a brilliant performance in open regionals, the team will be represented in nationals by their 10 qualified fighters, a new record for the club. Every boxer has their own story, a reason to fight. But when the time comes to step into the ring, there is one common goal in mind. It's a big deal for me to be on the team, especially as a freshman, and I'm excited for the next three years. I don't plan on fighting after college, so I'm going to put everything I have into it and really make it, make it count and try to go out a champion. The team won two national championships here in Wreck Hall behind me, one in 1929 and one in 1932. The current program has elevated in recent years, persisting to bring back the glory of the program's history, one that many did not know existed. So I wanted to take a closer look into the history of this very decorated team. A varsity sport in the early 20s and 30s, Penn State Boxing obtained a total of five national championships. Formerly celebrated as the most dominant sport at the school, coaches and fighters today strive to bring back some of that legendary status. Uh, well, for nationals, the goal is national championships. After that, who knows, as long as it doesn't go away and it keeps growing, that'll make us happy. You know, fight on state means more than just the, uh, than just the motto, it, it's, it's us too, we're here. In University Park, I'm Juan Mendez for the Center Counter Report.